Hey everyone, it's Dr. Elizabeth. Welcome to Skinny Dipping in the Fountain of Youth, where I share with you all of my secrets on how to be undeniably radiant, beautiful, youthful, and sexy at every age. I'm so excited you guys are here with me today because I have a wonderful treat for you. In this week's episode, in honor of the end of 2015 and the beginning of 2016, I am going to be sharing with you my number one secret on how to manifest whatever it is that is in your heart. So if you want to find out my top secrets on how to create the life of your dreams, stay tuned. So it's the end of 2015, beginning of 2016, brand new year, brand new opportunity for new possibilities. So I know many of you have messaged me saying, Dr. Elizabeth, I made my New Year's resolutions and by February, most of them have fallen out. I didn't stick to what I said I wanted to stick to. So please, will you help me? Give me some tools, some techniques, some practices to help me manifest what I truly desire this coming year in 2016. So I'm really, really excited to share this particular technique with you. I outline it in my book, Skinny Dipping in the Fountain of Youth, and today I'm going to share it with you. You ready? <laughs> it's a good one. It's called the updraft factor. Have you ever watched birds? You guys can hear them right now. <laughs> They're chirping. They're like, you pay attention. Listen to what she's saying. <laughs> she knows what she's talking about. Do you hear them? I love that. They're giving me thumbs up. <laughs> That's so fantastic. So if you watch birds like those guys flying, they always fly in formation. And what happens is they lift each other up when they fly together so they can go further than they could on their own. Same thing with bicyclists. I know you guys have watched cyclists before and they do what's called drafting where they utilize the energy, the collective energy together and together that carries them further with less effort than they could go on their own. So you're probably thinking, well, what does that have to do with me manifesting my dreams? Good question. <laughs> because it actually has everything to do with it. The updraft factor is one of my best kept secrets and when you implement it in your manifestation practices, I promise you it's going to make a huge difference in creating your goals and then sticking to your goals so that when we're here a year from now saying goodbye to 2016 and saying hello to 2017, you're going to be able to say, wow, I said I was going to do this, this and this and I accomplished this, this, and this. And that's what I want for you guys. So to begin defining the updraft factor, what I like to say is in the mathematics of humanity, one plus one does not equal two. One plus one equals infinity. And what I mean by that is when two or more come together in powerful intention, just like the birds and like the cyclists, we carry each other further than we could on our own. So how can we put that into practice? So I'm gonna outline for you guys today three steps, three keys, three steps that you can do this week in order to prepare you for the beginning of 2016. This is just the beginning. I'm doing, gonna do a whole series for manifestation in, in honor of the upcoming new year. This is the first video in a series that I'm gonna do on that. So. I want you guys to go ahead. I bought a beautiful journal. Isn't this beautiful, you guys? Look at this. I don't know if you guys can see. See the two lovers? I love this. My dear friend Marsh gave this to me. And I just love this. Um, one of the things I'm um, intending to manifest for 2016 is an intimate, beautiful, intimate, loving relationship. So this is my journal that I utilize for that. So what I want you guys to do is get a journal. If you don't have a journal for today, get out a piece of paper and a pen, or if you'd like, go ahead and get out your laptop. You can use that as well. I like to write in a purple pen. Purple is a very high, obviously, got my purple top on. Purple is a very high vibration color. Um, it is the color of the seventh chakra, the crown, uh, indigo, purple and so I really like for me I resonate with this color so be very intentional in what you're writing today so even in writing down what it is you guys want to manifest 
pick a journal that you really love or decorate a piece of paper if, you know if you'd like if it's just a plain piece of paper decorate it um, but make it make it special in even just a little way put a little heart or a smiley face on it something that makes it special for you because this is a very special process we're going to be doing all right so i just have to show you guys this is my little bookmark that i just had made from my new books i'm really excited and i utilize this because every time i look at this i go wow it just makes my heart happy so it's the little things guys really truly it's the little things that we do on a daily basis that help keep us moving forward so on our journal here on the first page what i want you guys to write is what did i accomplish in 2015 and then what i'd like you guys to do is i'd like you to give gratitude for that you could do a little celebration you can do a little ceremony whatever it is you'd like to do but take a moment and give gratitude i'm going to give you guys an example i'm not going to tell you all of the things i'm doing but i'm going to give you guys a little example for example uh, in 2015, I published my book. And for me, that was a very large and exciting accomplishment. So at the top here, I'm going to put, right here, I'm going to put published my book. And then I'm going to do a celebration on that. And then the next thing I did for myself for 2015, I'm just giving you guys examples for yourself. You're like, well, what did I do? It can be as simple as I said I was gonna go to the gym with my workout partner, Ricky, and we stuck to it every single month every day every month for the whole year so that's one of the things i'm going to put down so i want you guys to do that for, that's the first thing for 2015. then over here in 2016 i want you guys to write down what is it i want to manifest in 2016. so for myself i'm going to write down i would like to manifest a beautiful co-creative collaborative sweet delicious supportive intimate relationship that's the, that's one of the top things I want to manifest for my goals. So I would write that on the top there. So that's what you guys do next. Then when we turn the piece of paper over, what I want you guys to write here is the updraft factor. And then just leave it alone. So go ahead, take a minute to do that. I'm going to give you guys a minute. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain to you what the updraft factor is in detail and how you guys can utilize it to manifest your dreams. So go ahead. <laughs> Write it down. Take your time. I'm going to have a conversation here with the birds while you guys are doing that. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have to tell you. Right now, a little hummingbird is about four feet from me right here sitting on the tree. I don't know if you guys can hear him buzzing. They make that beautiful noise. Um, and hummingbirds represent joy. So this whole video is being infused with the energy of joy. Love that. He came just special for you guys. <laughs> That's it. Thank you, baby. Thank you for joining us. He's like, gave me a little nod. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so updraft factor. I defined what it is already. Let me go ahead and give you guys an example of that. So for me last year, one of my goals for 2015 was to go to the gym consistently and get my body significantly stronger. And I did that and I'm really proud of myself for doing that. So what I did was I utilized the updraft factor in order to accomplish that. My workout partner, Ricky and I go to the gym at 5 a.m. So I have to wake up at 4 a.m. every morning. Now, it's cold. <laughs> And it's dark at five at four o'clock in the morning when I wake up. It would be really easy for me just to pull the covers over my head, hit the snooze button, and go back to bed. But even if I have the impetus to do that, I go, no, Ricky's gonna be waiting there for me at five o'clock. I made a commitment to him. I'm really interested in keeping that commitment, not only to myself, but to Ricky. So that's how the updraft factor helps get me out of bed and to the gym. Now, actually, that's not the only way the updraft factor is powerful in this specific, I get so excited about this. <laughs> I can't even talk. In this specific scenario. So, it gets me to the gym. Now that I'm 
there, Ricky and I can utilize the updraft factor in order to push ourselves further than we would go on our own. So let's say we're working shoulders for the day. I'm doing my shoulder exercises. I'll push myself to the point of depletion in that set. But then Ricky's there to spot me. So he'll push me, let's say, four or five more reps. So Mike's shoulders, see? Yeah, see? <laughs> I know they won't be. <laughs> better than they were before <laughs> and so um, he'll by pushing me that much further I get that much stronger and it's so much more fun having a partner there who encourages you you encourage them it's just this wonderful <sighs> vortex of the updraft factor so that's you know a particular example um, in the arena of fitness, working out, and getting your body stronger. So let's say, for example, you want to manifest a beautiful, intimate, loving relationship, like I do for 2016. So you write that down in your book, and then what I want you guys to do is, on the page where I had you write down the updraft factor, underneath there, what I want you to do is ask yourself, who could I enroll? in the updraft factor where we can both support each other. It's not just a one-way street. This is not just someone who's gonna help support you. Unless, of course, it's a coach that you're paying. Um, but if it's a friend that you wanna call upon, make sure you guys, it's a it's um, a win-win situation. You're both supporting each other. So let's say you say, oh, I'm gonna call upon my girlfriend Carol, or I'm gonna call upon my girlfriend Heidi, or I'm gonna call about my, I'm gonna call upon my guy friend Jonathan. And we're all gonna to get together and we're gonna go out, we're gonna pinky swear, promise ourselves we're all gonna go out at least once a week. It can be during the week, it can be down the weekend. So you make that promise to each other and you both enter into this commitment called the updraft factor. Then what happens is, let's say you come home, it's a Friday night, you guys have already promised each other you guys are gonna go out, you come home and you're like, oh my God, I'm exhausted, I can't go out. But then you remember, oh, that's right, I pinky swore, promised Jonathan, Heidi, and Carol that we would all go out together. So you rally and you go out and guess what happens? You meet this amazing man or this amazing woman. And so that updraft factor has helped lead you to your goals and taken you further than you might have gone on your own. So that's a perfect example of using the updraft factor. So I want you guys for this week until our video next week, all we're doing here is, write, is writing down 2015, what we're grateful for that we accomplished, 2016, what we want to accomplish, and then make a list of who you might be able to enroll in the updraft factor. So this is the first of several key principles I'm going to give you guys to help you truly manifest what you want for 2016 so that another year doesn't go by and you don't get what you want. All right, so I think that's enough for today. That's a lot. I call it when I work with my clients, I don't give them homework. I don't like that idea of homework. It reminds me of school. <laughs> no, I like the idea of winnables. You can only win by doing this. It's no pressure, no expectations, no ideas of perfectionism. Just, it's simply a winnable. If you want to do it, great. <laughs> it would be fantastic. Just consider it. Just as okay let me just do this winnable and see what it gets me so do your winnables for this week i'll meet you guys again next week for when i give you guys the next secret on how to manifest so until then i hope you guys enjoyed our time together i always love spending time with you guys and um please also let me know when you message me below telling me what your manifestations are because i'd like i would like you guys to do that so i can hold them with you let me know if you're coming here from snapchat if we're connected on snapchat i'm gonna give you guys a special shout out on snapchat okay so promise me you'll do that and you can connect with me i'm gonna right over here where the wa pretty water is i'm gonna give you guys uh, my snapchat username connect with me every single day i do intention of of the day which really helps as well to keep us on track with what it is we want to create in our lives so we can have the best life possible we're here on earth anyway let's make it the most extraordinary wonderful life possible right until next week I love you I appreciate you you guys are amazing you guys make me so happy being able to connect with you from all around the world and remember 
happy skinny dipping in the fountain of youth. <laughs> Did you hear you guys? The little hummingbird came over and he's like, and tell him I said goodbye. <laughs> and you remember their joy. <laughs> I love that. He's sitting right there. He buzzed away and then he came back. He's like, oh my gosh, he came this close, you guys. Oh, so he wants to say goodbye. Okay. Mwah. Love you guys. <laughs> Ciao.